Hey there, welcome back. Today I'm diving into the latest power dynamics in Zimbabwe. Grab a seat and let's unpack this. President Emerson Manangagwa is making waves by potentially setting the stage for his deputy, Constantino Chiwenga, to take over. Yeah, you heard that right. Manangagwa's recent actions have sparked a lot of chatter about a possible handover of power. So, what's been happening? While Manangagwa was off in China attending the forum on China-Africa cooperation, guess who was holding down the fort? Chiwenga. He presided over two key national events, the Harare Agricultural Show and the burial ceremony of Brigadier General Shadrach Dingani Ndabambi. These responsibilities aren't just ceremonial, they're significant. Nangagwa's trip to China wasn't just about international relations. It gave Chiwenga a chance to shine on the home front, and many are seeing this as a sign that Mnangagwa might be ready to pass the baton. But hold on, it's not that straightforward. Here's where it gets interesting. Nangagwa hasn't been crystal clear about his future plans. Some folks think he might not go for another term. But there's also this undercurrent of party loyalists who are not too thrilled about Chiwenga stepping up. Take the ZANU-PF Women's League, for example. They are suggesting pairing Chiwenga with their chairperson, Mabel Chinomona, to boost his political clout. The idea is that Chiwenga might struggle to gain support outside the military, which, let's be real, doesn't have voting power within the party. Now let's rewind to 2017. Remember that coup? It was supposed to be a game changer. Nan Gagwa was to serve two terms and then hand over the reins to Chiwenga. Fast forward to now, and things aren't as clear cut. Nan Gagwa's moves at the 2022 ZANU PF Congress secured him as the candidate for the 2023 elections, pushing Chiwenga's ambitions further down the line. But Chiwenga isn't out of the game yet. He's playing along, eyeing 2028 as his chance. This whole saga highlights the fragile nature of power-sharing agreements within ZANU-PF. Menangagwa's third-term bid seems like a strategy to tighten his grip on power and weaken the opposition. And let's not forget the business angle. Kuda Tagwire, a major player in Menangagwa's rise, is reportedly mending fences with Chiwenga. This reconciliation, brokered by a top military official, might signal a shift in alliances. Tagwirai wants to protect his business interests, and aligning with Chiwenga could be his ticket. As Manangagwa's term winds down, the battle to succeed him is heating up. The chiwenga tagwirai alliance adds another layer of intrigue to ZANU-PF's internal dynamics. So what does the future hold for Zimbabwe? Only time will tell. One thing's for sure, the political landscape is shifting and the power struggles within ZANU-PF are far from over. Stay tuned as this story unfolds. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time, take care.